What is the value of my life? I'm talking to you, America, and I'm asking you again, what is the value of my life? Since the day I was born, it seems as if y'all put a target on my back. As if y'all aiming for me to fail or fall between the cracks. You see, you've had society paint me out to be a certain type of way, in fact. It seems like they want trouble. It no, they don't want trouble. trouble. Stop it. You're, you're making a fool of yourself. No, I'm making a you're fool making a fool of yourself. So now I got to spend my whole life proving to the world that we are not like that. Book bag on my back at all times to show that we too carry books and not just guns, drugs, and money in our backpacks. And see, here's where I laugh at. Cause America wants us to conform and to fit in, but whenever we make it to where they are, they don't want to let us in. And as far as accepting them socially, if that's what you mean, I could never do that. Now I'm not trying to make this a race thing. Wrong is still wrong and right is still right. But how can you expect me and my friends to act like we're worth something when you put absolutely no value on our lives? Every mistake I make gets magnified to the 10th power. I feel like somebody who looks just like me is being killed every hour upon the hour. So that's why me and my friends, me and my friends, we live like we running out of time. And no, this ain't just poetry. Most of what I'm saying is pure facts. The police can kill any one of us right now. Throw some dirt on our name afterwards. The media will portray us as gangster or crazy. A lot of criticism, scathing criticism for her handling of this, referred to uh, the people who were doing this last night as thugs. If Michael Brown were white, this would have gone down in exactly the same way. Yes. No question. And America will look at it as a justified act. So America, I'm confused. You tell me to go out there and be all that I can be, but my value to you is less than what's beneath your shoes. So tell me, what am I supposed to do? You say freeze, I put my hands up, I'm still shot. Laying on my stomach in handcuffs, one to the back, I'm still shot. I run away from you, throw my hands up, I'm still shot. In front of my own house, my mama telling you I'm innocent, I'm still shot. 12 years old, playing with a toy gun, I'm still shot. In your custody in Baltimore, somehow my neck popped. How am I supposed to feel safe in America when the ones who are sworn to protect me are the ones who I fear the most? Most. The cops. And I've been calm, y'all. Trying to see this from a rational point of view. But there's no denying what's going on in America, man. The truth is the truth. And in this instance, man, the truth hurts. As a young man, my pops always taught me not to provoke cops. Watch my mouth and don't curse. But when I get pulled over, I fear for my life. Because it seems like cops' mentality now lately is to ask questions later and shoot first. I'm going to shoot you. I will shoot you. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. So America, I'm really asking you, what I gotta do to not get shot by you? Do I need to change the way that I dress? Should I go exchange my hoodie for a new bulletproof vest so I can protect myself from all your fear and insecurities? You see, I'm not trying to talk noise about cops nor turn them into enemies, but you got to let us young black brothers know what we gotta do to stop you from killing me. So I write this piece for every young innocent man shot down to their last breath. And for everyone that's still fighting with the breath that they have left. You see, I know me just talking about it ain't gonna do much, but I figured that this, this is a first step. So America, you have our attention. And if you have a solution to this ongoing problem, well, we sitting here right here listening. And until we get an answer, I guess we'll continue to walk on eggshells through society. And I will depend on my mother's prayers to protect me nightly. And I will pray daily that one day, America, you'll see what's right. But until that day, I guess me and my friends are left wondering if the color of our skin was different. Would that change the value of my life? America, I'm listening.